She's pretty. Who? He never mentioned that. Laura? I think you just described her as whatever. I don't remember. I bet. And you did mention that she was in LA with you. Uh, she wasn't in LA with me. We were just there at the same time. Michael, face me. You didn't tell me anything about her before tonight. But then again, I think you know that. What does that mean? What did you think would happen tonight? Did you think I just wouldn't notice? I wasn't thinking anything. There's nothing to notice. You're a terrible liar. Maybe because I don't lie. She likes you and you like her. Of course you won't talk about that with me. <laughs> Where is this coming from? From my eyes, Michael. She was the only one you talked to all night. That's like 11 hours a day, maybe five, six days a week. That's 60 hours a week for three months now? What is it that you think I've done exactly? Do you want to check my phone, my email, my calendars? Go ahead. Not everyone gets caught, Michael. Has she told you she's attracted to you? I don't, I don't know. Look, I don't want the conversation to go there. Better try, babe. Because I bet you tried when you were in LA together. You know, you have hours that I don't know about. When you're away with your coworkers doing your articles, I never say anything. Have I ever given a reason to make you stand there feeling the way that I am right now? No. I saw something through the window tonight that I didn't need to see. You couldn't just have watched yourself and spared me that moment? I haven't done anything wrong. You're just trying to start a fight for some reason. I'd spare you. I would. What, is, what does that mean? She's going to Philadelphia with you and Andy tomorrow, right? Yeah, we're working on the Monroe properties together. It's not that I'm mad at you for being attracted to her or for craving newness, I guess. Then what are you mad at me for? For going out of your way for not admitting it. Just tell me. I thought I just did. Wait, that's not what I meant. You corner me and you get me to admit something that never happened and you go sleep on the couch. Fucking great. <laughs>